See you this way, Joe, Harry, Bernard, Ellery's, Elton, Don, um, Gordon, Stan, right? Um, Robo Knight, yeah, DJ Dave and Little Quinn. For one, as you speak through you guys' little a micro recording thing, whatever the fuck you call it, you're making demands to be compensated, but you guys don't say who you are directly. So until you until you do that, you decide to tell people who you are and who's speaking or who it exactly is, then how are you gonna fix that? Poof, <laughs> David. See, now I'm gonna prove that Ellery and his Negroes, right? You are probably the ones that can't do it, bit it crew, Dave, that killed and destroyed maybe Kim's wave, <laughs> Bern- um, Jay's wave, my dad's wave, whoever's wave it was, and fucking killed people. And then you're this same Negro faction, the lazy asses that didn't do anything while they were watching everybody else do the work, that didn't turn around and demand like money, but, or something to work. But like I said, if you guys killed or bullied a kid to death, me to death and another kid to death for all this information, how's it gonna work? So if those people are dead and police have a little bit of information and the FBI have a little bit in the military, you all has got all these different pieces of it but nobody's talking to put it all together so you got to have one main storyteller if that doesn't work then how are you guys going to get it to go there go David and the bitted bat for your liars because you're in somebody else's shit Elton's a liar Don Wiley's a liar you're, you're putting together somebody else's people's other reality to try to make something work it's a, the wave isn't working and I'm sick and I used to be the one like it used to swap and I'm supposed to be in a wave now moving in another direction but I'm sick and I'm scratching and you guys it doesn't work and I can't go the other direction and do what we need like our tube like he used to do then how the fuck are we gonna do anything that's why, oh, why. See, that's why we didn't want overweight and unhealthy people to do it because they tend to not follow through. And then you guys get your factions and your terrorist groups together and put it back together and make all these fanatical claims that something belongs to you that never fucking did. Because David, maybe those people and those families originally weren't fucking terrorists. Um... And like I said last night, or the day before, if I'm supposed to be overseas or in another country doing something, how can we get it fucking done? If I'm not supposed to be in Mexico, then it probably means I should be somewhere else. So you guys put this stuff together, and I'm glad we kind of got it to work. But see, if you shuffle people around that used to work places, this and that, then those ideas don't get to go into the right hands. And then things don't work. So if Bernard, that's you, or Global Knight, if you're making a negotiations, hostage negotiations, to whom, to what? Brian Miller, the, the one that you guys dotted up our chin, or is it supposedly to this Negro one that, that Polita claims is the god? When really, it's probably them just sitting around lazy as fuck demanding that everybody else do their work for them. So I think the moral of the story is Harry, Bernard, Robo Knight, Ellery, Elton, your baldy faggots that screwed everything up. Don't bully people in school because if you beat them up and you destroy their brains, you get these little pieces and then you turn around and demand those families pay you money and make your playland, it generally doesn't fucking work.